Hey guys, welcome back. This is part two on how to read and write the Arabic alphabet. In today's lesson, we will learn how to attach the letters together and then learn the short and long vowels along with the six non-connecting letters. And then finally, we practice forming words and sentences. If you're new and you don't know what I'm talking about, then go back and watch part one so you know and understand exactly what's going on. And before we start, Make sure you have a notebook in front of you so you can write along with me each time I write a letter. All right, let's get into it. All right, so we're going to draw a little table right here. It consists of four columns. The first column has an O, the second one has an F, and the third one has an M, and the last one has an F. Now let's pause the video to explain to you exactly what those English letters stands for. Basically, I'm just writing one letter to save up some space. Now, the first column has an O. O stands for original. This is when the letter is in the original form. Second one is an F, stands for first position. This is when the letter is in the first position of the word. And then the M stands for middle. This is when the letter is in the middle position. And then finally, we got F stands for final. That's when the letter is in the final uh, position. Now we're going to move on and write the first Arabic alphabet, which is, can you guess? <laughs> it's an alif. Alif. Now this is how it's shaped when it's in the original form. This is how it's shaped when it's in the first position of the word. It's the same, just like original. It does not get attached. And then in the middle position, it does get attached from the right side. And then in the final, it's the same, just like middle. It does get attached from the right side. That's if the letter that's before it is attachable. If not, then we would have to write it just like original. Moving on to the next letter we have is ba. Ba, ba in the first position. It's attached from the right side in the middle position from both sides. And then in the final, it goes back to its original form, but still attached from the right side. Moving on to the next letter, or next sister, that looks exactly the same like ba, it, which is ta. Ta in the first position, it does get attached from the left side. In the middle position from both sides. And then the tag goes back to its original form in the final position, but still attached from the right side. There's two types of ta. There's the open ta and a closed one that you see right here. Now, depending on the word that you're writing, if it was a verb, then you would have to write an open ta. If it was a noun, then you would have to write a closed one, like this one. Next letter we have is tha. Tha. Tha in the first position does get attached from the left side, in the middle from both sides, and then in the final gets back to its original form but still attached from the right side. Moving on to the next letter we have is jim. 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 Jim in the first position does get attached from the left side, in the middle position from both sides. And then in the final, goes back to its original form, but still attached from the right side. Moving on to her sister, which is Ha, has no dots. Ha in the first position. Ha in the middle position from both sides. And then in the final, it goes back to its original form, but still attached, just like her sister from the right side. Moving on to the last sister, we got Jim, Ha, and Kha has a dot on top. Kha in the first position, it's attached from the left side, and then Kha in the middle from both sides, and then in the final from the right side, and it goes back to its original form. Moving on to the next letter we have is Dal. Now Dal does not get attached at all from both sides. In the middle, only from the right side. And then in the final, only from the right side as well. That's if the letter before it is attachable. If it was like another dad before it, then we would have to make a little space in there and not write it attached. Mm -hmm. Next letter we have is her sister, which is the Dal, has a dot on top. Dal in the first position does not get attached. 
in the middle does get attached and then in the final it gets attached from the right side as well next letter we have is raw raw in the first position is written just like that in the middle position it's written it's attached from the right side and then final from the right side as well that's if the letter before it is attachable next letter we have is zain zain in the original form this is how it's written and then in the first position it's not attached and then in the middle position it does get attached from the right side and then in the final it's the same just like middle that's if the letter before it is attachable moving on next letter we have is seen seen that's the original form in the first position it does get attached from the left side and then in the middle it's attached from both sides and then in the final goes back to its original form but still attached from the right side Now we're going to move on to its sister, which is Sheen. Now this one has three dots on top, which makes it different from Sheen. In the first position, it does get attached. It's the same, just like Sheen, in the middle from both sides. And then in the final, it goes back to its original form, but still attached from the right side. Moving on, and next up we have is Sod. Sod. Now, sod in the original form, in the first position, it does get attached from the uh, left side, in the middle from both sides, and then in the final, it goes back to its original form once again, but still attached from the right side. Moving on, next up we have is her sister, which is dod, has a dot on top. Dod in the first position, it's attached from the left side, in the middle from both sides once again, and then in the final position, it goes back to its original form, but still attached from the right side. So I'm going to put a check in here, put a check in here, in here, and in here. Meaning it does get attached from those sides. Moving on to the next letter we have is TA, TA which is the deep version of TA. Now in the first position, it does get attached from the left in the middle from both sides and then in the final it goes back to its original form once again it's attached from the right side so ta is the deep version of ta as you know we have soft sounds and deep sounds in arabic moving on to its sister which is va va has a dot on top va in the first does get attached from the left in the middle from both sides and then in the final from the right side Va. Va. Moving on to the next letter we have, which is Ain, which looks like three facing the right side. In the first position, we do attach it from the left side. In the middle, it changes the shape and it's attached from both sides. And then in the final, it goes back to its original form, but still have that upside down triangle and it's attached from the right side. And then we have her sister that looks exactly the same like it, but this one has a dot on top. This one is Rain. Rain. Rain in the first position, it's attached from the left side. In the middle, from both sides. And then in the final, it goes back to its original form, but still attached from the right side. Moving on to the next letter we have is Fa. Fa, like F. Now in the first position, we do attach it from the left side. Oops. I did a little curve right there. In the middle position, it's attached from both sides. And then in the final, it goes back to its original form, but still attached from the right side. Moving on to the next letter, which is her sister. Looks exactly the same, but has two dots on top. Qaf. Qaf. Now, Qaf in the first position, it's attached from the left. In the middle, from both sides. And then in the final, it's... Uh, from the right side, it goes back to its original form. Moving on to the next letter we have is calf. Calf, like K. Now, in the original form, it's completely different from the first position and the middle position. And then in the final position, it goes back to its original form. Now, in the first position, it's attached from the left and the middle from both sides. And then in the final from the right side. Moving on to the next letter we have is lamb that looks like a hook. Lamb in the first position, it's attached from the left, 
in the middle from both sides and then the final goes back to its original form but still attached from the right side. Moving on to the next letter we have is meme. Meme. Meme in the original form, meme in the first position, it's attached from the left side, in the middle from both sides, and then in the final, it goes back to its original form, but still attached from the right side. Moving on to the next letter we have is noon. Noon. It's a half circle and a dot on top. Noon in the first position, it's attached from the left side. And then in the middle from both sides and then in the final it goes back to its original form but still attached from the right side next letter we have is ha ha like hi there's two ways of writing it either the first way or the second way and then in the first position it's attached from the left side and you can see the shape changes completely in the middle position it's attached from both sides and then in the final it's attached from the right side and it, there's two ways either the first way or the second way which looks like a zero moving on next up we have is wow this is when you're surprised wow <laughs> but so it's a little bit more softer so instead of wow it's wow wow now wow in the first position does not get attached in the middle, it does get attached from the right as well as the final. Now to the last one, which is yeah, yeah, yeah in the first position, it does get attached from the left side, in the middle from both sides, and then in the final from the right side, and it goes back to its original form. And this is the last Arabic alphabet. All right, now that we have learned how each letter is attached in every position, let's now learn the long vowels. Six non-connected letters, short vowels, and finally, we get to practice. Now, the long vowels are one of the most important things when texting in Moroccan Arabic, and we have about three of them. First one we have is Alif, second one we have is Wow, and the third and the last one we got is Ya. Now, each long vowel has its sound. Ya has an, an E sound. It makes an E sound. You prolong it. Wow, it makes an O sound. So, it's extended. It's prolonged. And then finally we got the alif, it makes an ah sound. Let's make an example to make you understand a lot more better. Let's take the letter ba for example. Ba. Now let's put ba with the long vowel alif. Alif makes an ah sound. So you're gonna combine the ba with the long vowel alif, it makes a ba sound. Moving on to the next, we got the well. Well makes an ooh sound. So you combine the ba with the well. It makes a boo sound. Boo. And finally, we got the ya. Ya makes an e sound. So you combine it with the ba, it makes a b sound. There are six non connecting letters in Arabic, meaning they do not connect or get attached from the left side. In other words, they don't want to be friends with other letters. What are these six letters? First one we have is alif. Second and third are dal and her sister dal. Fourth and fifth we got ra and zin. And the sixth and the final one we got is wow. Wow. So let's see how one of these six non-connecting letters does not connect. Let's write the word bab, which means a door. Okay, so the first letter is ba. Plus, we got the long vowel alif. It's not a letter alif. It's a long vowel alif. Plus the ba. That's the final letter. Now, let's combine the letters together. First one we have is ba in the first position. It's attached from the left side. Next, we have is long vowel alif. So, you combine the ba with the long vowel alif. And finally, we got the ba alone. As you can see in the final position. As you can see right there, there is a little space between the alif and the ba. Why? That's because the alif, long vowel alif, does not get attached from the left side. It doesn't want to be friends with ba. That's why. Moving on to the next example we have is Miriam. Miriam, which is an Arabic name for a girl. So first letter we have is meme. Second is ra. Next is ya. And then finally we got the meme. Once again, meme. All right, let's combine them again. 
meme in the first position. It's written just like this and it's attached from the left side. Ra in the middle position. And ya in the first position because the ra doesn't want to get uh, attached with the ya. And finally we got the meme in the last position. As you can see right there, there's a little space between the ra and the ya. Why? That's because the ra doesn't want to be friends with ya. It does not get attached from the left side. Moving on to the short vowels. What are the short vowels? Now, short vowels are little markings that we put on Arabic letters so we can change the pronunciation of the letter. Now, we don't use them in Moroccan Arabic when we text. However, they're used in modern Arabic, so it's good to know. So you can understand why we pronounce this letter a certain way and the other a different way. Now, how many short vowels are there? There is about eight short vowels, and here are their names. Now, the first one we have is Fatha. Fatha, it makes an ah sound, so it's ba. Next up, we have his dhamma, which looks like a wow, it makes an oo sound, so it's bu. Next up, we have his kasra, makes an e sound, so it's b. It's a little dash underneath the ba. Next up, we have his double fatha, which makes an an sound, so it's ban. Ban. Next up, we have his double dhamma, or dhammatan in Arabic, it makes an un sound, so it's bun. Next up we have is double kasra, makes an in sound, so you combine it with the ba, makes a bin sound. Next up we have is a sukun, which looks like a zero on uh, the letter, that makes a, uh, the letter go silent, so it's b, b. And finally we got the shadda, which looks like three, facing upwards, that's a stress. We stress on the letter. Now, there's one grammar rule about the shadda, is that it never goes alone. It, always has one of these three uh, short vowels, uh, which is the first one is Fatha. Next up we have is Dhamma with the Shadda as well. And then we got the last one with the Kasra, Shadda with the Kasra. Now the first one makes a Ba sound, next one is Bu sound, and the last one is B sound with the Kasra. All right, let's practice. Let's write the word salamu alaikum. Salamu alaikum, which means hi. Now it starts with the seam plus lam plus the long vowel alif because it's prolonged. Salamu. And then finally we got the meme. Now let's move on to the next word, which is alaikum. First one we have is ain. Next up we have is lam. And next up we have is ya. Salamu alaikum. And then we got the calf, salamu alaikum. And finally, we got the meme. Now, let's combine them. First one we have is um, seen, attached from the left side with the lamb and the long vowel alif coming across the lamb. It's written just like that, and it does not get attached with the meme because it's one of the six non connecting letters. And then Moving on to the next word, we have is Ain in the first position, Lam in the middle position, Ya in the middle position, and Kaf in the middle position, and finally we got the meme in the final position. Salamu alaikum, salamu alaikum. Moving on to the next example we have is Muhammad, which is my name. <laughs> first one we have is Meme, second we have is Ha, next we have is Meme again, and finally we got the Dal. Muhammad. Now let's combine them. Meme in the first position. We got it attached from the left side. Next up we have is Ha in the middle position. Meme in the middle position. And finally we got the Dal in the final position. Muhammad. Muhammad. And the example before the last. Morocco. Maghrib. Maghrib. First one we have is Meme plus Ghin plus Ra plus ba, which is the final letter, maghrib, maghrib. Now, let's combine them. Meme in the first position, attached from the left side. Ghin in the middle position, it changes completely. Ra in the middle position, and finally we got ba. Now, you can see right there, there's a little space between the ra and the ba. Our last example is bslama, bslama, which means goodbye. First one we have is ba, plus sin, plus lam, Plus the long vowel alif because it's prolonged. Bslama. And then we got mim and ta. Ta for the feminine because bslama is feminine. Okay? Bslama. Ba in the first position. Seen in the middle position. We attach it. And then lam with the long vowel alif that's coming across of it. And then mim we write it alone. Does not get attached with the alif on the right. And ta. 
Finally, we got the tap. Slama. <laughs> All right, now that you have learned how to read and write the Arabic letters, you can now download the Arabic keyboard on your phone to start texting in Moroccan Arabic. And if you have a desktop or a laptop, you can get an Arabic keyboard just like the one that I have, so you can start practice typing in Arabic. All right, I hope this lesson was helpful, and if you have any questions regarding this lesson, then feel free to post them in the comment section below. I'll try to respond as soon as I can. And until next time, I am Mohammed, and I'll see you on the next lesson.